Holy smokes, look at that. An absolute ton of geese. All snow geese. Yo! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Real quick, before we get going, I have to tell you all the ducks shoes. Yes, these ones right here. A lot of you wanted them. We went out of stock during the summer, but we are completely stocked back up at duckswaterfowl.com. Use code Bob at checkout. The duck shoes will be linked at the top of the description in this here video. Go down there, pick them up. Don't miss it. Uh, Thursday at 6 p.m. These puppies launch on the website. If you're not getting them first, you're gonna be last. And if you're last, you may not get a pair at all. Pick them up while they last, don't miss it. Let's get into it. We're waiting for them to go to feed. They're bouncing water right now. Coming from uh, sand pit to sand pit to sand pit. They just bounce water all morning until about eight o'clock and then they finally pitch off to go feed. So we're gonna hunt big water today. This is what they've been doing, just bouncing water in the mornings. Uh, when they're done feeding, uh, it's kind of a trickle effect. You don't know if they're going to go to that big water or that big water or that big water. So lots of big water options in the area and a ton of white geese, an absolute ton. All righty, everybody stand up. Go ahead and smoke the snow goose. He did. That's good. Fred. Oh, he said, that's mine. Good job, Frederick. Skunk side of the boat with the floater. Good boy. Well, that's the easiest snow goose I think we've ever killed together. No, that doesn't get you fired up. I don't know what <laughs> Yes, does. came right in the decoy. Boom, boom, boom. Just did it. All right, come on, buddy. This is the spread today. All full bodies with their heads up. Lots of white. Come on, Fred, hold it. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on. And out front, guys. One's out front. Shoot him there! Nice, on the right side. There we go. Uh, pop them again if you can. Get, get some good stroking. <laughs> Dude, that was way left. <laughs> Shoot that one with its head up. Over the top. Behind him. Dad, gum, Birdus. This is becoming like a ritual or something. Dude, this spot, man. We gotta have the pizza. We gotta mm -hmm. have the za. What all you got in there? Oh, dude, this one uh, is breakfast bacon on a Papa John's breakfast pizza. Breakfast bacon? Oh, yeah, man. Is that's that, a like, first. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's a top one. Oh my god. Oh, my look at look look. Look at this guy. He's going, dude. How about you hook it up? Oh, you ready Frederick. for some, Frederick? I'm sure Frederick likes crust. Yeah, let's uh let's get him hooked up. He's been eating whole pieces. He's been eating whole pieces? Oh yeah. Loving it. What is that? It's a, it's talking about. Oh, does Freddy want a bite? Take a bite. Hmm. Take a bite. Here. Come on. Oh. What's the problem with the black ones? Oh. Okay. Let's tear it up. I know two up. guys had them in front of them and they didn't shoot them because they thought they were dogs. Come on, y'all. We you got to smash the thumbs up for Frederick. Anyway, he just did 50 yard retrieves and deep water on huge honkers. He's got to have a treat. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. that's some good fuel right there. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow, black coyote, huh? Good boy. Oh, really? By the way, uh, all of you that were here back in uh, early, early season teal, big duck opener, I think, when old Freddy Rico got sprayed by the skunk, he still stinks every time he gets wet, right on his face. If you smell his face right now, straight skunk. And that was, a, that was every bit of three months ago, so. I can't get it off, just gonna have to wear off over time and hopefully it don't happen again between here and there. He's a good boy though. You're not having another piece yet, dude. Oh, lick them chops. Oh, that's a good boy though. Ready. 
Shoot him out front. Nice shooting. Set. Set. Don't do it. Heel. Fred, dead bird. He just came in. He did not make a peep, neither did I. It's a big bird. Good boy, Frederick. Good boy, he. Honkers in the snow decoys. He loved it. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Drop. selfish <laughs> oh god dang come on if i call i'm just literally gonna mess it all up just watch He's the show yeah watch the show see what they do it's a lot of them I'd say. There they come. Well, next day, next day. So I uh, decided to pick it up here. By the way, I just did a whole scouting tip video, very long video over on uh, Uncut Outdoors. Check it out. Straight up uncut videos using my language that I prefer. <laughs> just being Bob. Giving, giving you my, my tips, my two cents on the scouting, how to get private land permission from farmers, landowners, all my, all my go-to tips. So. Uh, I will link uncut near the top of the description. By the way, every single video I put up uh, uncut is always down in the description. Please, guys, if you've already checked it out, great. If not, check it out, but you have to use my embedded link down in the description box down there. Please use my link. Don't go into Google and type in uncut. Just click the link. It helps me out an absolute metric, uh, a metric, just a ton. So thank you guys for being over there with me. <sighs> Look at this freaking feed. So I'm gonna wrap up this video, just a day in the life of what I do. We're running two spreads this morning, about 20 miles from where I am now. And the magnitude of geese coming out this way is just impressive. So I'm gonna do everything I can to uh, wrap up a couple hunts here. We have a very special group coming in um, tonight. Um, some military folks that I can't wait to meet. So I uh, really wanna knock their socks off uh, tomorrow. Gonna do everything we can to, to make that happen. Um, but here we go. I'm gonna pull over and you guys can just get a gander of what's going on here. Pretty awesome, man. We got so many freaking birds right now. Um, and I'll be honest, it looks like they're doing their reverse trends already, like reverse migrating already because uh, coming out of that crazy cold slump, um, they're just moving that way back up north, it looks like. So check that out. They're coming from every direction. This field, nobody can hunt this field. I have tried so, so long. By the way, let's zoom in on the editing system here. Check that out. Um, lots of white birds as you can see in there. There are some dark, but um, lots of juvies. This is a good juvie hunt, but like I said, it's not even worth me asking this farmer because he does not allow it. This is a big corporate business that owns this field. The business is actually right behind me. And uh, due to uh, liability, they just don't allow it. So I think a truck's pulling up to me right now. Hold on. I uh, haven't talked to the guys at all. I don't know how both spreads are doing. Um, I'm, I'm kind of frightened because so many geese, uh, so many birds in general, uh, didn't go their direction early morning. They, they went the opposite direction. So that's why I, I refer back to, it looks like they're kind of trying to move back up, you know, so. I'm hearing a lot of specs in that feed. I'm hearing a lot of specs in that feed, which specs are out and 
um, if you find a feed where you can hear, ooh, there's some ducks. Uh, we hear it here in specs. Just get away from it because you'll end up not being able to call so many shots because specs are out of season right now. They do come back in season near the end of the month. Look at this. It's a little water hole that's holding some birds. That's neat. Yes, ducks are closed as well. Specs and ducks go out together uh, at the beginning of January, the, actually the end of December basically, January 1. Um, and then uh, they kind of come back in together uh, near the end of January, like I said, and ducks stay open. Um, the last two weeks of January, they go out, specs stay open, as well as Canada geese and snow geese through mid-February. So that's kind of the regimen. I am booking snow goose hunts, y'all. Um, there is limited availability left, um, two minimum, up to six, eight, whatever. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than the regular hunts. Um, just because of snow geese, you know. So snow geese, uh, snow goose hunting is always a, much cheaper than the regular fall hunts no matter where you go across the nation. So um, if you're interested in that, uh, Sand Hill is always linked down below. Click on it, fill out the uh, inquire to book form in the little description area in the notes. It says anything you want us to know, just put conservation hunting. And so then I know you're, you're after the conservation and not next year fall, so. But as far as um, the hunt y'all uh, watched yesterday's hunt, we scratched, I think, 18. Uh, we sat a long time. We didn't get sat down, you know, till 8.30. That's how that place works. Um, and we hunted. Now we got sound eh, probably 9, 9.30. Uh, but we sat most of uh, the day up until about 1.30. It was just slow. Uh, that morning, a ton of snow geese got off of the water and I was like, you know what? We're gonna do great on the whites because I'll be very freaking honest with you. The snow geese have been way more generous, cooperative per se, than the Canada's. A lot better. So we've been chasing the snow geese and doing good on them. Uh, really burned me when they did not show back up. They must have moved. They moved water and that's all she wrote, you know. So um, I'm hoping both groups are doing great today. Crossing my fingers dot in my eyes you know but um we'll see here in a little bit okay guys there's a dog there these are actually nice dogs are you gonna be nice buddy oh now they're chasing okay this is in fact a public service freaking announcement okay farmhouses guys if you let your dogs roam and you see them chasing cars on dirt roads, please stop that. You're gonna kill somebody. And what I mean is a lady or someone that's not used to night driving or something that you just get startled and you yank the wheel and now they go barrel rolling through the ditch and you smack one of these highline poles and you kill somebody, it's gonna be your dog's fault, okay? That is not okay to allow your dog or dogs to dart after cars that are going down a public dirt road it's not okay it's very 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 dangerous for one for your dog it's going to get killed for two for the human or humans in the vehicle public service announcement please spread that good word and i just don't get it i i don't understand why people would let their animals do it because dude there's times that i've thought i have killed dogs and a lot of times because i'm like hey you know i'm just going to hold my line this is, every time I come by this house, this BS happens, you know, it's it's ridiculous. I've almost wrecked, I couldn't tell you how many times because of dogs running the frick out and startling you so bad and you, you don't, nobody wants to hit a dog. That stuff's gotta stop. Well, done scouting back home. Uh, I have two fields that I'm working on. Uh, one of them is one that I showed you all. And the other one, I gotta be quiet about <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry that that hunt was so short. P. Diddy, I didn't have him there. Um, he is actually, first day, feeling better. He had the flu, he was pukey, he had a fever, the whole nine yards. So I told him to go home, relax, and uh, recuperate. 
Um, so I didn't have anybody there filming for me, which sucked. It really did. Um, it's so hard to film with the big camera and I get so sick of the GoPro on my head. I just, I've barely been using the GoPro and I know that you guys don't mind the GoPro. I get it, but I hate it. I hate that thing on my head. I really do. Um, I, I think I just, I had to have it on the bill of my hat for so many years that I, I despise it. Like I really do. I don't want it on me. So I hope that you guys respect that part of it. Um, I'm going to have to start using it though here and there just because um, a lot of these hunts I've been running by myself without press in there filming. Let me know if you liked it. I know it was an extremely short hunt. Um, like I said, we shot 16, 17 birds. Um, and as you've seen, I'd, I'd have the camera on my leg uh, because this, it was really sunny. I didn't want the lens uh facing the sun glaring and freaking the birds out i had to hide my glasses behind the a-frame constantly because the canada geese have absolutely owned us uh they have been so hard in fact that uh we usually don't do this but we have been doing everything we can just to hunt snow geese only uh they're, they're just so much better and uh, so much more generous so i don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing drop a comment down below let me know um, they're just, I think we've just lost all the young ones, to be honest, all the young Canada's, the lessers, cacklers, uh, and we have the honkers. The honkers aren't bad. They'll play. Like this video, it was mostly freaking honkers on big water, so. We had a high right before this last group, and then this group, uh, that we had, man, we, we really did try, and the Canada's just been giving us the bird. <laughs> um, so, and ducks are close and specs are closed which that don't matter but the ducks kind of suck because we do have a bunch of them so we're doing our best we're probably going to start putting pretty nice large piles of white on the ground later birders uh so big shout out to birders for always providing the pizza uh on that hunt i love hunting the old pit it's uh fun getting papa john's delivered to the blind and, and making it a long day that's what it was so i did my best filming it again I can't apologize too much because I did what I could. Remember guys, the Ducks shoes are available. Do not miss this opportunity to pick them up before they're all gone again. There is plenty right now, today, they drop at 6 p.m. Guys, use code Bob at checkout. Help your brother out and save you some money. But, 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 huge but. Get them while they're available because they will be gone very fast. When I say we have a lot, yeah, we have a lot but they're going to go so fast. So if you want a pair for you, your dad, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, grab them now. Now. Ducks Waterfowl and the shoes will be linked at the top of the description down below. Uh, be sure to check it out as well as Uncut Outdoors. All of my how-to and tip videos will be going up there like they already have started. I enjoy it over there. Y'all do too. Thank you all for being here. But until next time.